What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adrian and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Jolanda Neff versus Pauline Ferrand Prevost because I kind of get the idea that they haven't always seen eye to eye. Alrighty, so let's take a look at the first clip. Oh man, so obviously you guys can see Yolanda and Pauline literally crashed into each other, both on the ground in immense pain. As you guys can hear, they are literally screaming and crying because of the pain. If you ask me, they're going a little bit overboard. I mean, I've broken my collarbone too. And you didn't quite see me on my knees and lying down on the ground, literally boiling my eyes out. But each to their own, I guess. So as you guys can see, they are both man down on the ground and they can't stop moving, which means that they are in a lot of pain. You guys can see that they are not laying still. They are constantly moving, rolling over. And like I said, that obviously means they are in a lot of pain. So let's take a quick look in slow motion. From my eyes, Pauline is on my left and Yolanda is on my right. But in their case, Pauline is on the right and Yolanda is on the left. But it looks like Pauline goes a little bit off of her line to the left, which means that she collided with Yolanda. And it looks like their front wheels collided and then their shoulders, which sent them both hard to the ground. As you guys can see, Yolanda is lucky she didn't snap her leg. She's practically doing the splits. And then Pauline goes and falls on the ground hard on her left shoulder, just missing Yolanda's head. And they both tumble a little bit, the bikes go flying, and it's absolute chaos, guys. And here come the medics, as we can see, helping them out. And this causes a little bit of a traffic jam, as the other riders in the field have to take different lines now, because obviously there's a medical situation. So they have to kind of take the outside line, which takes a bit longer to avoid the crash. Um, if they did take the inside line yeah, they would have probably made even more of a crash because that inside line um, By the looks of it is quite sketchy. I mean, I don't I've never been there before in person, but as I can see and tell um, The outside line is definitely safer in a scenario like this. So um, well done to the other riders for playing it cool and not Adding to the bad situation. So as we can see the medics obviously checking the girls out. They are in a lot of pain They're both crying both in tears um, completely and utterly in agony from the pain and yeah we see something interesting Yolanda Neff is up on her feet and Pauline literally gets carried off by the medics on a stretcher and I'm gonna tell you guys something now in a second that makes this quite interesting so there we can see Pauline completely out of it in tears and um, yeah not having a good time yeah we can see a quick playback of the two girls kind of asking each other if they're okay I guess if I must guess what they are saying to each other and um, having a little moment but as you can see once again yeah by their facial expression they are both crying and in agony guys from the pain and if we take another quick look at the end of this clip Yolanda grabs her collarbone so um, let me quickly tell you guys about the injuries that happened from this crash Okay, so the reason why I found it interesting that Yolanda was standing next to Pauline who was literally being carried off by a stretcher and a whole bunch of medics is because post-race news says that Pauline didn't have any serious injuries whereas Yolanda, who was on her feet standing watching Pauline get carried off broke her left collarbone and broke her right elbow and she was standing up, Pauline was man down, crying on the ground and had to be carried off on a stretcher so I find that quite interesting that Yolanda was, you know, once again I'm saying this, she was on her feet watching Pauline get carried off. Um, obviously she was crying and she was in pain as well, but it's just a bit interesting that um, she had the injuries and Pauline kind of got away with nothing and um, she was the one who got carried off on a stretcher. Obviously she got bruising and very very sore, but nothing serious. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you a Yolanda fan or are you a Pauline fan? So let's take a look at the next clip. This clip is at the Tokyo Olympics. So as we can see, Yolanda and Pauline didn't crash into each other, they didn't cross paths, they didn't switch lines, they had absolutely no effect on each other in this situation. Yolanda was on the left line, Pauline was on the right line, in their perspective. And um, Yolanda rode through no problem, but Pauline got stuck. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Let's take a quick look in slow-mo. So, if I must guess, it looks like Pauline got bucked by one of the rocks and just threw her balance off and um, kind of threw her off the bike, messed up her balance and just messed up her line and everything, which threw her off the bike, as you can see. She fell against the fence on the side 
and um, this section doesn't look that steep on the video and I have never been there before in person um, but if we take a further look at this video Pauline yeah, falls against the fence and then her bike gets sent all the way down the rock garden and um, she tries to chase it but the bike just keeps going and on her way down she almost slips and falls herself so what I'm trying to say is this must have been an extremely extremely steep section um, if any of you guys watching right now have been here before let me know in the comments how steep it actually is um, I've really found it interesting to know but um, this wasted a lot a lot of time for Pauline and yeah I don't know she, she, it's not really possible to come back from this um, unless you're having a super super good day there she picks her bike up other riders coming past giving her a little scream and just to make her aware that they're coming but I'm sure she's not bothered she just wants to get on her bike and carry on um, I think it's Evie Richards that went past her there um, as you guys can see she can barely get up this rock garden it must be incredibly steep it's 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 insane like it doesn't look that bad on video but once again video probably does not do it justice so let's take a look at the next clip now this is also at the Tokyo Olympics and this is at a very technical feature and Yolanda made it even more technical for herself dropping the bridge so let's take a quick look at this clip all right so as we can see Yolanda is behind Pauline and I think she got a little bit excited I know that she is next level in the downhills as you guys all should know if you watch my videos I go on about it quite a lot but um I think she was a little bit overexcited and she tried to drop this massive drop next to Pauline and uh, she didn't really have a clear line I kind of think she just went for it um, I mean in a race with all the adrenaline especially the Olympics and um, if you're in front you know your mind could do crazy things and you could make crazy decisions and I would say this is an absolute crazy decision so Pauline goes down smoothly Yolanda takes her left line which is not actually a, a line and she drops the entire bridge and um, look at her look at her suspension compressing I, I mean I, she didn't even use proper technique for that drop she, she landed on flat and that looks like a decent meter and a half drop guys if not two meters I'm not sure I wasn't ever there but um, she dropped that to flat landed on her front wheel and then her upper body just had to take the impact and I don't think she will ever try that again but um, yeah that was quite a brave move from her and well done to her for winning the Tokyo Olympics and she's currently the Olympic champion definitely check out some of my original content on the channel I am a cycling mountain bike coach and um, I do lots of coaching vlogs and videos of myself riding as well and um, yeah definitely go check it out and leave some comments for me over there as well